And then we basically scare him out of the water with some kind of deep sea remote controlled monster. So that our diver can basically breathe before he dies, but doesn't realize that he had to. All right? Make sure to get the timing right. And Jean-Luc, don't embarrass me with the monster. Thank you, everyone. Excuse me, Mr. Soku. I'm not really sure how that creature would fit into the budget. Like, we'll make that work. And most importantly, we might kill him. I mean, what are we doing here? Thomas, he will stay alive as long as you don't make him question it. See you at my office. Teach me how to breathe from the water. Why do you slow me down? Feed me with what I don't like, cause you think you know me better. Teach me how to dance and she will. Thank you. 
So good this has to stop. You know what's gonna stop? I'm gonna stop letting these wieners into my office. Well, probably we should just start selling them our services as what they really are. That's what reality really is, right? Come on, Thomas. I grew up as the son of two directors who turned my life into a movie. They had it all scripted before I even arrived. And I loved it. It felt very true to me. Well, probably true starts with doubting all the truths we believe in. That it feels true to you does really not mean that it's the same for anyone else. But people love it, Thomas. They do. I mean, obviously there's so much we can improve in the process, but remember that lump guy? He screamed. There's a market for what we do, Thomas. Well, of course there's a market for people who want to escape reality. Reality sucks. Reality is weird and complex, but you cannot just fucking buy it. Yes, you can. This whole company is made up, and I made it up. And if I'd sell it to you, you could indeed buy it. It's real anyway. It's real fiction. And it's all you have, isn't it? It's what ties every single one of you together. And I love it. Stop believing in what we do, Thomas. That's the door to your new reality.
something, but I'm not quite sure what. I step on a street full of stiff people on their porches, and the spring's dazzling sun. They are seemingly up to something, but petrified on the run. And I'm feeling better, I think. I don't miss anyone anymore. If even the memories of the two of us can fade, why bother struggling for more? And as the sky darkens, I stop running. Down. 